Cheryl Mel complains of tightness in chest, possibly heart related, possibly enchilada related. <laughs> Pulse in the seven. you do it, try and take out Kepner. Oh! Oh, God! Oh. That'll work, too. You guys, I'm fine, okay? I'm so sorry. No, no, you warned me to stay out of your way. It's Robbins, your warm-up. I didn't do this on purpose. Edwards, I'm about to take his pants off. Go be someplace where you won't be a danger to others. Oh, God. Um, I'm fine, okay? I got hit by a gurney. There she is! Oh, right, Doctor! No, I was on the floor. She didn't do it on purpose, did she? No, no, I don't think so. Maybe. Well, what about you? Did you talk to Matthew? I left another message. Nicole said he quit. And then she called me a name, so that's all I know. Can you just talk to her? Apologize for both of us? I'm trying. Nurse's station. Dr. Edwards is filling out an accident report as well. You two mind sharing? Brilliant. You know what, I can I could come back. No, it's fine. I'm almost done. Okay, then. How's your leg? My knee is... I'm fine. How about you? How are you? I didn't see you coming. That's not what I meant. No, I knew that. I'm sorry, Stephanie. Will you let me say that to you, please? Okay, I am so sorry. I had no idea I was gonna do that. None. I thought I was... I told myself that I didn't want her. That April didn't want me. And you and I... Steph, you are so... Please don't. Don't do that. I'm trying to say I didn't see it coming. Okay? There's no way I wanted to hurt you. And I don't know how I can make that better. You can't. And anyway, we both got a day we'll never forget. Steph, no, you got a day to tell your grandkids about. And I got something I'd never gotten before. I got pitied. I, I was suddenly the girl who wasn't good enough, or smart enough, or pretty enough, or not deserving. I've never gotten that look before because I'm not that girl. I know that. Look, you can hit me with as many gurneys as you want to because I'm going to feel terrible about this for the rest of my life. Okay, well, you do that if you want to. I'm not. I'm not going to feel sad or angry or pitiable for one more minute because I'm not going to care about you. So if I don't say hello or make small talk in the elevator or acknowledge your birthday or even acknowledge you're alive, it's because to me, you just exist. Because I don't care. Why does it feel so good to get rid of things? I'm sure it was a shock. I mean, I was shocked. I can't even imagine what you must be feeling. Actually, I can. I can't imagine you know it what? because I... Babe, don't. She doesn't care. But I know why you're here, Mom, and I could have saved you a trip. I already called Mike Ferris. The time to call Mike would have been before you stood up at that... Barn. Oh, wait, who is Mike Harris? Harris, he's our attorney, Avery Foundation. Protects our financial interests. I mean, are you suggesting that I'm after your money? I have no idea what you're after, dear. All right, that's enough. You're not gonna march in here and start questioning my wife's character. You no. wanna talk about her character? She left a man at the altar. She broke his heart and humiliated him in front of everyone that he loves. I have no idea what she's capable of, never mind you. I am not interested in your money. Wonderful. That's what I said when I married into the Avery family. And you know what I did next? I signed a prenuptial. I said I'd handle it. This is totally inappropriate. What's inappropriate is the engagement was 15 minutes at a rest stop on the turnpike. Fortunately, postnuptial agreements were created for moments like this. And this meeting is over. Jackson. It's over. the stupid paper really i don't mind you're not signing anything why not i don't want your money i want you a prenup or whatever the hell it is is only for if we get divorced which we're not going to do so it doesn't matter that is not the point okay this is a conversation for you and i 
when we are ready, not for her to come barging in dictating terms. Yeah, but it will calm her down. I'm part of her family now. I don't think an olive branch is the worst thing in the world to offer. Yeah, well, you're a better person than I am. Well, yes. And then she is. I'm better than everybody. Mm -mm, not right now. We can let her stew for a while. I know. You know what? What religious tradition I want to bring my kids up in. You said you don't you don't know, but I do. It's important to me that they're Christian. I thought you knew that. That my kids would have different beliefs than I do. That's that's a little weird, April. Transition is movement. From one part of life to a whole new one. <laughs> and board meetings at fifteen? I kinda pictured my kids in four H. Like raising pigs? Or cows. It's important that they're comfortable around livestock. Is it? Jackson. They'll ride horses at boarding school. They're going to boarding school? And it can feel like one long, scary, dark.